said I was gonna be the baddest gangster to ever live, and I became that. Who was Raymond Washington, the founder of the Crips, the leader who was strong and loved to fight, with scars on his face and afraid of no one? Raymond Lee Washington was born in Los Angeles, California, the youngest of four sons, to Violet Samuel and Reginald Washington. His parents separated when he was two, and his mother and stepfather raised him. He grew up on East 70th Street between Westport Avenue and Central Avenue in Los Angeles, South Central. From his mother's second marriage, Washington had a half-brother, Derek S. Barton. According to the neighbors of Washington, he liked fighting and was constantly in trouble with the Los Angeles Police Department. Washington was repeatedly expelled from school, resulting in frequent transfers, attending Long High School, John C. Fireman High School and alternative attached to Washington's Preparatory High School and Ferrix High School near West Hollywood. In the late 1960s, gang involvement increased youth crime in Los Angeles, particularly in the three housing projects located in Watts, Imperial Courts, Nickerson Gardens and Jordan Downs. Older black street gangs were gone because of the Black Panther Party and the U.S. organization. The absence of the old gangs saw numerous new youth gangs begin to form in the place. Washington joined a local street gang called the Avenues, led by another teenager named Greg Monson. At the age of 15, Washington beat up Monson's younger brother in a fist fight. In the late 1969, Washington organized his gang called the Baby Avenues, recruiting a group of other neighborhood youths in South Central. In 1971, Washington approached Stanley Tookie Williams. Washington had heard of Williams through a mutual friend who had informed Washington of William Stuffness. Washington proposed to Williams a form of confrontation in the gangs under their influence in their respective areas and another teenage gang leader called Mac Thomas in Compton to form a single large street gang. Williams accepted Washington's proposal, indicting the West Side gangs under his influence as the West Side Crips. The Crips established themselves as the largest street gang in Los Angeles, increasing numbers and territory as their influence spread across the low-income black neighborhoods. Washington, Williams and Thomas effectively controlled criminal activity in these areas and became the dominant crime bosses. Many original Crip leaders were imprisoned or dead within a few years. In 1974, 21-year-old Old Washington was arrested for second-degree robbery and sentenced to five years imprisonment at the Dual Vocational Institution in Tracy, California. Washington was unpopular among the prison population. He recruited young black inmates into cribs, much to the dis disapproval of established black prison groups like the Black Muslims and the Black Gorilla family. In 1976, Washington was paroled from prison and returned to Los Angeles. Reportedly, Washington was shocked to discover that the violent war between the Crips and Bloods and expanding gangs had exta escalated to the point that fighting using firearms instead of fist fighting was now normal. According to the law enforcement, former gang members and close friends, Washington had realized he no longer held influence in the gang and Washington started to distance himself from Crips. At around 10 p.m. on August 9, 1979, 25-year-old Washington was murdered in a drive-by shooting on East 64th Street and South St. Pedro Street in South Central Los Angeles. He was rushed to the Morningside Hospital where he died while undergoing emergency surgery. No suspects has been arrested and Washington's murder remains unsolved.